Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to take a Photoshop document and to selectively change the color of anything you want, basically, inside of your photo. So in this case, I'm changing the color of the shirt from blue to green or blue to whatever color. And how we do that is a combination of a hue saturation adjustment layer and a layer mask. So to add in a hue adjustment layer, we go over to the adjustments window here. If you don't see that, you can go to windows and then open adjustments window. So let's see here, hue saturation. And now what I'm going to do to get started is I'm just going to change the hue, which currently is targeting the entire document, and just try to get the color right for the shirt, since that's what we're actually concerned with. You don't need to worry about anything else in the document, because as we add in a layer mask, it's only going to affect the shirt, and everything else will be back to the original color. Now, uh, once you have your hue selected, go ahead and make sure that you have the layer mask selected. Not the hue saturation, but the layer mask itself. If you have the layer mask selected in the properties window, it'll show masks and say... Now, in some cases, if you're working with one solid color, you might be able to get lucky and use what's called the magic wand tool. Which, if you click on a color, it's going to try to select every color bordering that that has the same color. However, in this particular case, I'm going to advise against it, because as you see, when we add in tolerance, it's not actually covering every little detail here. Whenever you change it to a new tolerance level, you should click again to get the magic wand to do a reselection. But here I'm actually going to advise against using the magic wand. It does work well in some cases, but here it's picking up some of these leaves on the side, and if we use the magic wand, it would get a bit messy. So instead, you can either use the lasso tool to select big regions here, or you can just do everything by hand with the brush, which ultimately, if you actually take the time to do it, will give you the best results. To make things a little quicker here, I'm going to get started using the lasso tool, and then follow up with the brush tool. Now, in your foreground and background colors, you should have white and black selected. Black is going to be the areas where you are applying the layer mask on, and then white is the area you're actually removing it from. However, what we're going to do when we're done with this layer mask is invert it. So really, when we're drawing black, that's going to be the areas that show, the areas which are not going to have a layer mask, and then everything else is going to end up being um, basically the part that is not getting this hue saturation adjustment layer applied to it. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute. So with the lasso tool, I'm going to cut out large chunks of easily selectable material from our photo here. I'm not going to go to the edges with the lasso tool because I don't want to accidentally select parts that aren't going to be included in the layer. So with that big region selected, I'm just going to use the paint bucket tool, fill in color black, and right there, that's returning it back to its original color, but remember we're inverting it. And I'm going to use the lasso tool over here to achieve the same result. As with a lot of things inside of Photoshop, the more time you spend with it, the better your result is going to be. So then we take out another big chunk, and we can keep going with the lasso tool until we get pretty close to selecting the borders. Okay, so I'm going to stop there with the lasso tool, especially because I'm doing this with a mouse and not a drawing tablet. And now I'm going to switch to the paintbrush tool, where everything else that's still green on the shirt, we want to return that to the blue color. So here I'm going to increase the size of the brush so that we can make this a little bit quicker. And we just have to carefully go over the edges here um, and return the color to blue. Now, of course, there will be quicker ways to do this, but in general, you're not going to get as good of results as if you are carefully doing this by hand with the brush tool. For instance, uh, for these areas up here, we could try the magic wand, and it actually gives us a pretty good selection. So we might use the magic wand to fill in gaps like that, uh, lowering the tolerance down if you need to. And we'll do one more over there. But you will come across areas where the colors are just too similar, and therefore using the magic wand is going to give you bad results. So we'll see if the magic wand will work over here. Not that well. If we lower the tolerance down, maybe we'll get better results. 
we can start with that, so let's try that. These areas where it's not quite selecting properly, you get some green laying behind, and that's one of the reasons the brush tool is good, because you can have it be 100% thick, and honestly, we should be using the brush with 100% hardness, um, though it won't make too big of a difference here. So, if you run into any minor details, like here, uh, you can always lower the brush size down to get more precision over how it's going to look. So really, it mostly comes down to a matter of taking your time with it and trying to get the best results you can. So, just going to wrap up this last part over here. If you do need to correct any of your mistakes, you can always switch to the white brush. So now what we're going to do here is double click on the layer mask and we can either hit invert here which is just going to swap the layer mask with what we've selected before or as an alternative you can select from the indicates drop down instead of masked areas you choose selected areas uh, which would give you the same kind of result. Here I'm just going to invert it though because that's what we said we were going to do at the start. Another useful tool we might want to use in here is called the Refine Edge Brush tool. With this, Photoshop will try to kind of automatically figure out the edges here. So here it's really clear that this area, which actually has a little mask on the outside of the shirt, so we can kind of draw over that and it will try to smooth out the difference between the shirt and the outer areas. So you can apply that to some of these outer areas, just kind of smooth it out a bit. And when you're satisfied here, just go ahead and hit OK, and the layer mask should be complete. So it looks like earlier outside of the layer mask editor, we missed a couple spots here, so I'm going to go ahead and select those here. To be honest, if you feel like it, you could probably do all your layer mask editing in this editor, rather than the standard one, if you prefer that instead. But either will work fine for most of what you need to do. So that looks pretty good here. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now that the inversion has been complete, we have changed the color of this man's shirt from blue to green. But even better, because we did it using layers, we can easily change that shirt again to any color we want just by moving it along the spectrum. So the shirt is now whatever color we want it to be, which is super awesome. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, I hope you guys found this tutorial useful, and I will see you guys later in my future Photoshop content.